Hey, this morning with Dr. Gray from the Great Clinic in Ruston. Dr. Gray, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well, Connor. How are you? Always doing good when you come on, Dr. Gray. We got uh, five good questions from our viewers this morning, so we'll, uh, we'll get into those. First one, Dr. Gray, can supplements replace real foods and be beneficial? Uh, I think for the short time they can, okay. but not for the long duration. Why is that? And it's a pretty expensive way to go. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and it's a kind of a boring way to go, too. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, Dr. Gray will tell you, you got to eat some food. Have, have some fun in life. Second question, how important is it to have fiber in my diet when I'm trying to lose weight? Uh, it's important, but it's not essential. Okay. Uh, it does help you lower your calorie load. Mm -hmm. uh, it will help with your bowel function. Uh, and you get to eat more. Okay. Uh, but it's, you don't have to. It's not essential. So maybe just kind of look for some foods that have a little more fiber, but you don't need to buy the pills or anything, right? Yeah, you don't have to really get compulsive about it. Okay. Third question, how important is sleep when it comes to losing weight? Well, that's quite important. Yeah. Uh, as we've discussed on this program before, uh, it's been proven that people that get six hours sleep a night uh, lose weight faster than those who don't. Okay. Well, that makes me feel better because whenever I gain weight, then I got the natural excuse of having to work oh, on the morning okay, show. Good. So that's, uh, I appreciate <laughs> that, Dr. Gray. Uh, fourth one, I'm hungry constantly, so how can I curb my appetite? Well, lots of willpower. Yeah. Uh, and avoiding food. And mm -hmm. uh, so that means stay away from food or get food away from you. Uh, uh, and, and then there's certain other things you could do, like uh, cinnamon is, is supposed to help you suppress sweet cravings okay, uh, and various things like that. And of course you could uh, see a weight loss physician for mm -hmm. uh, appetite suppressants. And they say it gets easier as it goes on, right? It might be really difficult for a week or two or a couple weeks, but once you get into the habit of eating less, it becomes natural, right? That's right. But then something will happen that will throw you right back into yeah. the cycle again. So you got to stay vigilant. And uh, fifth and final question, Dr. Gray, does a high intake of trans fat uh, associate with chronic diseases? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, with heart disease and with atherosclerosis, coronary artery disease, uh, cerebral artery disease, uh, yes. Uh, a high amount of trans fat is not good. So that's something you really do want to be, uh, you know, taking notice of, right? Yeah. And, and you're going to find that more with fried foods. Okay. So stay away from the fast food if you can. Well, Dr. Gray, thank you so much for joining us this morning. If anybody wants to find out uh, more about you and your practice, tell them where they can find you. Well, they can find us in Ruston on Reynolds Drive. Or, Connor, they could call us at 318-251-1000. All right, thanks so much, Dr. Gray. Uh, we'll have all these questions and answers on our website, which is myoclimist.com.